Hawks will be coached by Dan McInesby, the uh, rookie coach, head coach for the Hudson Hawks. Done a super job this year. Hello everyone, welcome to Veterans Memorial Athletic Conf uh, Complex in Clinton, Massachusetts. The season opener for the 2023 Hudson Hawk football team. Tonight they'll face the Clinton Gales. Both teams, since this, this is the opener, are zero and zero and it looks like we're gonna bring the captains out to the field for the coin toss. I'm Pete Conti along with Cam look and Jared Colbert behind us keeping this uh, hooked up That's electronically. Right. Summer is over. Time to start. Uh, yeah, our favorite time of the year. Time to start <laughs> shooting the real bullets. The, the, the Hawks get to the uh, they get to open up the season here in Clinton. The Hawks were 20 to 13 victors last year in the season opener. Of course, the Hawks finished 8 and 0 in the regular season last year, and they're uh, they're expecting big things and expect expectations are high amongst the program. Captains are out for the coin toss. Yeah, you saw a little shout out to Coach Mack, longtime coach here. I wanted to uh, give him a little thank you at the beginning of the broadcast. Uh, as yeah, always, was, yeah. Oh, 20, 25 years. Twenty five years. So I've I was I've been here through for most of it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think this year's Thanksgiving game will be will be my twenty fifth that uh, that I've been involved with. It's a pretty good run. So uh, yeah, good, good luck to uh, to Coach Mack in the future. He's still around the school. He still has oh, a, yeah. has capacity at at the school, but. Uh, you know, yeoman's work for a long time. It's a big sacrifice, you know. It's, oh, for sure. You know, it's not always for yourself, but it's it's a big sacrifice. Captains for the Hawks this year. Number five, Owen Anardowich. Number eight, Jake Attaway. Number 11 is Garrett Giorgio. And number 56 is J.J. Sensky. Ethan Frisch, Brendan Bernard, and Matt Phillips were your Clinton captains. One final huddle for each team along the 50 yard line as they disperse to their respective sidelines as we're gonna pause for the playing of our national anthem.
Great job by the Clinton High marching band. Only 12 strong. Did a good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got to play extra loud if there's only 12 of you. <laughs> You know, one thing I can't help but notice down here to our right, a lot of the Hudson parents are uh, in the upper rows of the bleachers here, but the students always come and they stand up, and they're always surprised that they're sitting behind the students that oh, are yeah. standing up. And I see Coach Mack walking in as we speak. There he is. On his way to see the the uh, the Hawks season opener, Zach Attaway, the new head coach of the Hawks, and uh, a lot of new faces as well through the coaching ranks. We'll get to some of those as we uh, move along through the night. The kick is away, fielded at the 16-yard line, out near midfield. Was number 42, Angel Lopez with the return. Yep. Took it out to the 49. Pretty good return there. Got a little space and turned it into a, what was that, 30 yards return? Oh, 32 yards. So Clinton will take over their first series of the game. First and 10 from their own 49 yard line. Matt Phillips, the Clinton quarterback. And the opening run swallowed up by Garrett Giorgio. Connor Cox with the carry. Yeah, good job up front there. Didn't give any ground. Able to stop him from no gain. Second down and nine. They gave him a little bit on there. His ball still shy of the 50 yard line. Two to the left, two to the right. Yes. Quick pass intercepted by Giorgio at his own 46 and he's into Clinton territory. Brought down at the 16. Okay, okay. It's a good way to start your defensive uh, season. Second play, it was, it was passed all the way. Phillips was an empty backfield. Out of the shotgun, he turned. Giorgio just read it, stepped in front of the pass, and he was on his way. First and 10 Hawks from the Clinton 15. Hawks with great field position for their first uh, first off offensive series here. Jake Attaway, the, the Hudson quarterback. Flank to his left, Logan Luce. And in motion, Torres. Luce gets the carry, takes it straight up the middle down to about the 13. We saw Luce flash a little bit last year, getting some reps at running back. Underclassmen. But, yeah, uh, late in the season. Yeah, so it's nice to see him uh, finally get his opportunity here. And he, physically, he looks like he's he a little bit bigger. Did yeah. his work <laughs> in the off season. Crowded little backfield there for the Hawks this time. Attaway rolls right, throws right. Giorgio makes a move to the inside. Touchdown. Touchdown. 13 yard variety. Add away to Giorgio. Little yak there, yards after catch. Yeah, he made the, made the nice move around, yeah. the, around the 10 yard line, got himself some, some open real estate, pretty much went into the end zone untouched. So the Hawks jump out to the early lead. 
less than two minutes into the game. And Roy Gow will attempt the extra point held by Attaway. Kick has plenty of distance and it's true. 10-25 left in the first quarter. The Hawks lead seven to nothing. I like that, striking quick. Get on the board. Nice yeah, I mean, play, you know, the points. there's there's no way to there's no way to put an exclamation point on a on a turnover as, as a uh, touchdown on the second offensive play yeah. after that turnover, and the Hawks cashed in. This guy doesn't look too promising here. <laughs> Soto. <laughs> On the far side, Ramos in the middle. And it looks like Lopez on the near side to receive the kick. Gow to kick for the Hawks. Going to be fielded at the six and all the, all the way across the 30 to about the 33 yard line is Angel Lopez once again. Ball's going to be spotted at the Clinton 44. And the flag flies. Looks like it might be a false start against the Gales, and it is. We'll push him back. Five yards, gonna be first down and 15. Line of scrimmage now, the 29. Split backfield now for Phillips. And the first man through. Pick up of about four. Second down and 10 for the Gales. Phillips back to pass again, looks on the near side. Got a man through the hands of number two, Kelly Camoni. Defended tightly by Ben Jackson. Good coverage there in the secondary. You know, Jackson and Tyrese Muse over there as well. Third down. Phillips again looking downfield, escapes the pocket. And he's running out of room. Set. Joe Eady, number 75, the first one to get to Phillips. And another loss of yard, it's gonna bring up fourth down. Clinton will be forced to punt. 
Good pressure, that right end. So Didn't the sack on the play. The sack by Edie puts Clinton in a fourth down. And the kick is away, fielded by Zach Torres. And he's spun down by Matt Phillips. Check that number six, Connor DeVoe, not number five, Connor, Connor DeVoe on the tackle. Hawks a little more field to cover here. See if this drive is as successful. <laughs> Hudson takes over from their own 30 yard line. Lose the lone back. And a little toss to Torres around the left side. Got some room. F first down and more. Pick up of about 14 out to the 44 yard line. A little jet sweep. That's a completion for Attaway, right? <laughs> yeah. Ball left his hand. Getting a little dark off in the distance. Attaway in the shotgun. Bobbles a snap, gives to Luce. And Luce pushes his way forward for a couple. Ball spotted right at the Hudson 45. It's gonna be second down and eight. Attaway in the gun again. He's gonna keep it this time, find some room up the middle, carries across midfield. Nice hole there by the offensive down, line for, for Attaway to scoot through. Brought down by Jordan Bear of the Gales. Third and three. Call it third and two, they gotta get to the Clinton 47 yard line. And Giorgio with the carry does that and more. Down to the 41 of the Gales, first down for the Hawks. It's a good first down run. First and 10 Hudson, and a flag flies, false start on the Hawks. Too bad. So loss of five is gonna be first down and 15. Two to the right, one to the left. Attaway, forced to run, throws downfield, complete to lose. Down to the 29. Didn't panic. Yeah, good presence in the pocket there, roll out. Beat that end around the edge and uh, find a man open downfield. It's a big time play. <laughs> yeah. Got some lightning flashes off in the yeah. distance. I, I don't to add for the dramatic I, effect. I don't know how long this officiating crew is gonna try to ignore that, but good on them. Lose nowhere to go. 
going to lose a yard on that. Five twenty-six left to go, first quarter. Flag flies. False start again on the Hawks. Mental toughness. Seemed to be some confusion. I don't know if they were just going for the delayed snap there or, or what they were yeah. trying to do. It just took, it just took a, an extra long time for that yeah. uh, play to get started. It looks like there was some, some communication with, uh, with a wide receiver or two. Still second down, second down 17 from the Clinton 31. Ooh, nice little Quick screen. little underneath screen to lose and lose powers his way to the back to the 23 yard line. Little middle screen by Attaway that time. Third down and five. And Giorgio going to be brought down just outside the 20-yard line. So far, pretty good script for the Hawks. Got a little touch pass, screen pass, mixing in some runs with some throws. See what they got with the fourth down play. They got it fourth down and two. It's about a yard and a half. But you can't put a yard and a half on the scoreboard, so it's uh, they go, they're calling it fourth and two. A timeout is called by Hudson. That's the first. So there's some new faces on the uh, on the Hudson coaching staff this year, as as we all know, Zach Attaway has uh, taken over the reins as the head coach of the Hawks, Dan McInespy, the former head coach sitting just down below us. His assistant coach is Pat Donahue, is the defensive coordinator. Jake Wedwell is back on the staff, as is Jeff Wood. Bobby Donahue is a, a defensive coach. Patrick Donahue, Jr., on the staff as well, Dan Fahey, we know, Sean Flood, Mike Duggan, and John Rogers are the coaching staff for the 2023 football season for the Hawks. It's 319 left to go. You might have noticed the lightning. Here in the first quarter, now they have noticed the lightning. So uh, they are going to clear the field. We're at 319 of the first quarter. The Hawks are on top, seven to nothing. Not sure what the protocol is going to be from this point forward. Every time you see a uh, you see a lightning flash, I think it's uh, a specified amount of time. Is it 45 minutes? Yeah. So we may be uh, off the grid here for a little bit. Best advice I could give you is uh, keep checking back and yep. uh, and see what happens if uh, if if there is going to be a uh, a resumption of this game. I'll I will certainly put it out there on social media. Um, but for now, I think we're going to pull the plug on this one for a while. All right. We're 
we're back. <laughs> we're finally back. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're not. A, this is not a time warp. We've uh, we've extended this uh, this time out for about 26 and a half hours now. We're going to uh, go back to the archives. It might have been the longest time out in MIA history, but uh, we are back, and the the weather delay held us for about another hour and a half. So this is the resumption of the Friday night game. The Hawks coming out of a timeout. Fourth down and two. Yeah, that was the longest timeout ever. <laughs> <laughs> They'd gone into a timeout and uh, the field was evacuated and uh, nobody played another snap again last night. So uh, we're into Saturday night now. Conditions have changed from the start of the game yeah. when, last night. It, it was pretty benign. Now a it's, a, it's a little windy right now. Are you ready for support? In the crowd. Well, they come in and out of the stands three times since they started yeah, here <laughs> tonight. They've, uh, the, the stands were, were cleared we're a few times and we're back. Attaway in the shotgun, fourth down and two. Giorgio goes in motion, and Attaway down inside the five. Followed Logan Luz right around the right side, stretched it out to the sidelines, able to pick up the first down. It'll be first and goal from the Clinton five. Yeah, Hudson had a long time to think about that play. <laughs> and QB power, why not? <laughs> I was asking Bob Donahue, one of the coaches tonight, I said, so what's the play? <laughs> he says, I don't know, I forget. <laughs> Never has a coach been able to think about a play and then have the chance to sleep on it. <laughs> <laughs> First and goal. Attaway moves loose to the left. The give is to lose, off tackle to the right. Dives down to the two. Good push there by the Hawks. Looks like they're gonna spot it back to the three yard line, we'll see. Second and goal, Second and goal from the three. Attaway gives to lose again, and he's wrapped up just inside the line of scrimmage. Eighty-four, Ethan French with the tackle. Yeah, he lost about a yard on that. Attaway keeps his time. And just followed the flow into the end zone for the Hudson touchdown. Keeper by Attaway from the five, puts the Hawks up 13 to nothing. Only the second drive of the night, Cam. Yeah, that just adds to the good start that the Hawks had uh, last night. They were in good field position and uh, able to punch one in here. And the extra point is good, the Hawks. 14 to nothing, 155 left in the quarter.
Hawks set to kick. Roy Gow to kick for the Hawks. High kick. <laughs> From the 10. Ramos out near midfield. One man to beat is Gow. And Gow takes him down. Flag down. Came from the near side of the field. Looked like he might have horse collared him on the tackle from behind. The tackle did appear that way. Luce was running around with no hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I think that returner's pretty good. Last last he, night to open the game. He returned he the opening kick out return. to midfield. And it's a horse call a tackle over on the far side. Probably Gao made the tackle on Ramos. Clinton's going to get the ball at the Hudson 20 to start this drive. And the handoff, Ramos. What an inside cut he made about the 15 yard line. That created him plenty of daylight. Takes it down to the Hudson 5. Oh, that was a nice cut. Yeah, I gave him a little, <laughs> little shake. So it's first and goal now for the Gales. Single back for Phillips is Connor Cox. Whoops. As the flag comes in, movement on the Gales will put them back to the 10 yard line. Fans having some fun already <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> They're just happy the game's on. Yeah, it's a whiteout tonight <laughs> for the uh, for the Hawk fans. And a throw into the flats. Savion Clark with the hand in there. Yeah, great coverage there. He was right on his right on his back, able to knock that one out. Phillips up to the line. Rolls to the right. He's got some room. And wins the race to the corner. Clock was over there just a step too late. And Phillips puts the Gales on the board with 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Pretty quick score there for the Gales. It's more momentum than I think they've had, you know, all last night. And Angel Lopez puts it through the uprights for the extra point. 33 seconds ago, first quarter, the Hawks 14 and the Gales 7. Kind of a wild start to the season for uh, the new coaching staff for the Hawks.
Good crowd on here. I was thinking earlier today that it, they did announce that the uh, admission was was free tonight. You didn't have oh, to yeah. you didn't have to bring a stub or anything. Right, right. <laughs> that makes sense. But uh, it's good crowd. I I think there might even be a bigger crowd than there was last night. Low kick, fielded by the upbacks. Taken by Tobias Eady. Return it back to his own 45 with Hawks will take over. Attaway, headed towards the left sideline. Throws incomplete. It's intended for Nanadowicz. Defended by Phillips. Phillips got in there and, and got his hands pretty high in the air. Attaway had to throw over him. Be second down and 10. Yeah, good pursuit off that backside. Chased Attaway out. Made him make a tough, tough play. <laughs> Now Garrett Georgian comes in, in place of Zach Torres. Nolan Yates wide to the left. And Giorgio. See where they're gonna spot it. I think he got about three, maybe four yards. Call a three out to the 48. And that's the end of the first quarter. We're through one here at Veterans Stadium in Clinton. Hawks 14 and the Clinton Gales seven. Next week we travel to Dover Sherbin. That's right. Take this show on the road a lot this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we uh, enjoyed the home cooking for uh, much of the fall last year. Now this year it's uh, payback time. I don't think we went anywhere until November or so. Pretty much, early, yeah. early November or late uh, mid October before we uh, we had to. Get in a car and go anywhere. Not this year. Third and seven. Attaway flushed to the near side. Directing some traffic. Gonna be close to a first down. Looks like he's gonna be. Gonna mark that at the 44 of the Gales. Line again it was the 45. Be first down for the Hawks. It's good awareness by Attaway. Didn't like it. Didn't like anything downfield. And uh, third down needed the first. Scrambled for it. Got it. Got out of bounds. Well executed. Giorgio and Torres switch it up in the Hudson lineup. Three to the right, Nanata, which goes in motion. And now Torres, a little flip, works his way inside for about three. It's like Breer with the stop. Now Giorgio in and out, which out. Six 
single back is loose. And he'll he's take going, the handoff. And he's met by a host of Gale tacklers. They got a little bit of hesitation. Yeah, that killed him. I don't know if he was trying to be patient, wait for that hole to open up, but. Never opened up. Everything came in and yeah, the whole right side collapsed and, uh, and chased him down. Be third down and long for the Hawks. Attaway fakes the handoff, takes off. Nothing there, stretch him right out till they're finally able to pull him down. Fourth down and eight for Hudson. Midfield, looks like they're going. Hawks are gonna stay on the field. Inside the Clinton 45. And the Hawks are going to call a timeout. Second time out of the night for the Hawks. Hawks seem like they're having a slightly harder time on offense. Those first two drives last night, able to move the ball pretty well. Uh, and then so far here, we've had two third downs and a fourth down. See if they can pick it up a bit. 7.38 to go before the half. Hawks lead 14-7. Fourth down and 10 from the Clinton 44. And quick kick. Ah. Lands nicely. And it's gonna settle about the seven yard line by Owen Anatowicz. I like that. So that away with like the- that's a, I've seen Tom Brady do that. Add away with the quick kick. <laughs> Really flipped the field around. Clinton now has the ball at their own five yard line. Yeah, I like that call. Pin him deep, make him uh, have a nice sustained drive here. Or get the turnover and you've got decent field position. First punt by the Hawks on the season. And Giorgio. Good stick. Makes the tackle, number 28 with the carry. Don't have him. 25, Mason Ogier. This green and gold's a tough color combination for me. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. I, I cannot tell a lie. Tough to see or you speak, just don't like the I, aesthetically? I speak my truth. I, I, <laughs> it's just a hard uh, color combination to pick up from a distance sometimes. Hand off around the left side. And spun down about the 22-yard line. There's Ramos again for the Gales.
Gives up the middle this time. For a first down. He met one of the Hudson defenders face up and it yeah. just rolled over him. Yeah, I think some of the misdirections are uh, getting that. Oh, uh, D-line. And this time sniffed out by the Hawks, Giorgio and Nenato, which make the stop on Ramos. Short loss on the play, second down at 10. Quick throw to the sidelines. Complete to Zanowitz. Brought down by Giorgio. Made a good move on Alex Horton over on the sideline. Clinton's on the move here. First down for Clinton. Ball spotted at their own 49. give up the middle for about three. Rambler with the tackle. Second down from the Hudson, 48. Ramos to the left, finds a seam. He's taken off, wrapped up by Nolan Yates around the 19-yard line of the Hawks. A big chunk play for the Gales. Yeah, Ramos is having himself a night here, opening night. First down and 10. Ball spotted at the Hudson 19. Nolan Yates with the tackle. <laughs> Phillips on the center. Rolls to the near side. Slowed down. And finally wrapped up at the five yard line. Yeah, that ball flailing all over the place. Clifford and Giorgio. The ones to finally stop him at about the three yard line. Be first down and goal for the Gales. 2.16 left to go in the half. So the Gales looking to tie this up. Down to about the three. Second and goal, 
with Sanchez on the carry. And Phillips are going to keep it drives forward. No signal yet. And touchdown, Clinton. <laughs> Phillips, his second touchdown of the night from the three. Brings Clinton within one. Wow. Margin, 95 yards. And the extra point is good. 111 left to go in the half. We're tied at 14. Yeah, impressive drive by the Gales all yeah, on the wow. ground. Never threw it. One time went 95 yeah. yards. Yeah, some big chunk plays in there. Ramos. Ramos had two real big plays, one was 15, one was further out near midfield. Kind of squibbed it last time. Wonder if they'll go with a similar approach to avoid the bigger turn. Angel Lopez kicks for Clinton. And another line drive kick. Bounces to Horton. Uh, check that. Trace on Muse. Just tripped up at near midfield, and we got a call at the back end of the play. It's gonna be holding on the return, I think. Was it a block in the back? And there's a holding. Holding. Wow, all the way back. I didn't see that. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh. So the return by the by uh, Trace on Muse gets squashed on the holding penalty. The Hawks will be first and 10 from their own 15. Attaway the keeper, cuts inside. It wrapped up by Angel Lopez. Attaway, three-step drop. Has to roll out of the pocket. Get, looks downfield for Giorgio, a little too far ahead of him, incomplete. He was open, that was just a tough pass across his body. Yeah, plenty of room. Giorgio had, yeah. had, some, had some room to move too like afterwards. Sat down a little bit. Three third down and four. Attaway straight back. Flushed out again. 
And he's gonna tuck it across the 30. Upended about the 31 yard line by Angel Lopez. First down Hawks. A timeout Hudson, six seconds to go in the half. Well, we know what the right play call is here, right? There you go. Fire truck. <laughs> I don't think they have that anymore, do they? <laughs> I don't know. How do you get rid of that? But you know, <clears throat> what everybody says about that play in the long run, that worked. It worked more so times, many times. More times than it didn't. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Yeah, there was some big ones. <laughs> and there some was some key big ones. ones yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that, one, maybe that was, goes with uh, Coach Mack as he as he leaves. But I think there was a big one. There was a big one up in uh, up at Narragansett one night. Derek Palatino or somebody. Oh yeah. And that was an. It turned it. That turned into an overtime game and. It, yeah. Kept going back and forth. <laughs> yeah, it, there was some some big plays with that. Hey, maybe I'm nostalgic. We'll see it again. Attaway, looking downfield, overshoots everyone. Probably just as well. Nolan Yates, the intended receiver, double covered as the uh, time runs out in the first half. We are tied at 14. Looks like we might get an abbreviated halftime. They're, they're directing. Uh, oh, man. The eight minute half, we just were announced. Eight minute half. So we'll just keep it rolling, yeah. Yeah, what the heck? Hawks on the road the first two weeks of the season. It's an away game here at Clinton. Next week, we travel to Dover Sherbin. Playoff rematch. Team that knocked, uh, knocked the Hawks out of the playoffs last year in a rainy Morgan Bowl. Hawks first home game, 22nd of September against South High. Back on the road for two weeks at Maynard, at Oakmont on Friday, October the 6th. New opponent this year, the Hawks will be hosting Sharon on October 13th. First time seeing Sharon, first time Sharon's coming to Hudson, I'm sure. North Middlesex rounds out the home schedule on October 20th and they'll end the season, the regular season at Groton Dunstable on October 27th and then uh, playoffs will start November 3rd and November 10th. Hawks will be hosting Marlboro High this year for Thanksgiving. This is 
Lenny, can you hear me? Like to say hi to Lenny Bowen out there. Thanks for watching. We found the guy. You're the one. We found him. Short halftime tonight. Only eight minutes. So uh, we'll be back at it. If I think everybody on this complex wanted this game to get completed tonight, yeah, let's one way it. or the other. Let's not give it time for another storm to run in. <laughs> Postponed on Friday night just before the end of the first quarter. Had intended to kick off at 7 o'clock to tonight. Would, would we kick off about 8.15 or 8.20 yep. by the time they uh, they kicked off again? Well, they started up again tonight. So the Hawks are back out of their respective end zone. Clinton fans in a frenzy. <laughs> <laughs> Bolt School's got a pretty good turnout. So Hawks will receive if I remember if I can remember back to last night. <laughs> I think they kicked off. Yeah. Maybe put a couple, couple of your better hands, people, as the, yeah. uh, as your second tier. Lopez has uh, drilled most of his kicks right, kicks right up the middle of the field. Not very much hang time. And we're set to go. 
Trayson Muse is deep on the far side. And he's, All the, way the kick the splits zone. Torres and Muse through the end zone. Well, he drilled it up the middle. <laughs> That's his MO. <laughs> First and 10 from their own 20. Attaway to give to Giorgio. Out to the 25. Anthony Jackson with the tackle for Clinton. Giorgio again with the same result, gain of five. A little more is good for Hudson first down. Ball spotted just outside the 30. Yates is to the left. Savion Clark on the near side. Attaway rolls out of the pocket. Oh, a little shovel pass. Pass is complete to the 40. That was a little push pass. He <laughs> just kind of shot put it out to him. Rolling against his body the way he normally would throw. Evan Bushy, the receiver. Like a basketball play. Yeah. Little, little lob pass. Yeah, I like it. Maybe that's going to replace the, the truck. <laughs> yeah. Attaway with the keeper. Forced back into the middle. And he's wrapped up by Angel Lopez. A couple nice jukes. First down, Hawks. Ball spotted the Hudson 43. Oh yeah. Left side. It's like a little trap play, Evan Bushy. Gonna move the chains again for Hudson. Yeah, good hole, nice run there. First and 10 from the Clinton 46. Giorgio is going to follow Bushy. Pick up of about three. Call it four. Second down and six. It is only three. Wishful thinking. Second and seven. Three wides for Attaway, single back, Bushy. And he's wrapped up just about as soon as he got the ball. Josh Phillips with the stop. The third down and 11. Loss of four on the play. Tough negative play. Two to the right, one to the left. 
Logan lose to Attaway's right. Attaway looking downfield. And he's going to tuck it and run. First down, Hudson inside the 35 to the 34 yard line. He had Zach. He had Zach Torres yeah. break it free. He had his, his hand up in the air. He just couldn't plant his feet and get it yeah. downfield enough, far enough, fast enough. He made it work with that scramble, but yeah, it could have been a big chunk. If you can, if you connected with that, Torres was the last yeah. man in. He's gone. He was. That would have been a touchdown pass. Fresh set of downs for the Hawks from the Clinton 33. Lose. Tackle by Ethan Fritch. Second down and nine. Left side for Trayson Muse. Pick up of a couple. Maybe about third, about five. Third and six. Attaway throws underneath for Giorgio, complete. Still on his feet at the 15, tripped up. Great effort. Like the 14 yard line where he finally came down. Said underneath screening, that little middle screen again. Yeah, I liked it. Nice, nice effort to get as much out of that as he could too as he was stumbling. Some yak. Exactly. That's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be the word this year. Yeah. Attaway, the keeper, goes left side. Wins the race to the corner. Touchdown, Hawks. 14 yards for Attaway. Another Attaway score. Three eleven left to go, third quarter. Eighty yard drive for the Hawks to answer back the uh, the ninety five er for uh, for Clinton. Missed the snap. Attaway forced to pick it up and run and spun down. Eventually. By Connor DeVoe. Extra point, no good. 311 left to go in the third. It's the Hawks 20 and the Gales 14. I don't know if that was planned or a bad snap. I think that was a bad snap. I think bad he, did, snap, he just yeah. reached up to his right and made a one handed catch. With it, right? Yeah.
So both teams have been able to move the ball so far as we uh, get near the end of the third quarter. Yeah, two back-to-back -back long drives there. One to end the second, and th this one to start the third. Clock already down to three minutes. Great Kicks kick. away. And slipped up. Nope, they didn't give him a possession on it. Angel Lopez. Like there was a miscommunication, both both uh, both kick returners down there, Lopez and uh, yeah, the, trying to see and Ramos was Ramos was seven. down there. Surprised that when he, he reached down to touch five, it, yeah. he reached down to touch it and he slipped down. He was about the three yard line. He yeah. slipped down on his knee. That's a uh, unless that rule's changed somehow. I doubt it. I hate referees. I guess they'll take the 10. <laughs> Phillips tucks it right from the get-go, and Giorgio spins him down. Great pursuit there, setting that edge, chasing him down, making the tackle. Yeah, he's having a good night, both sides of the ball. He's caught a few passes. He caught the touchdown pass yeah, right. last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange, strange scenario we're in. Oh. We got Twilight Zone episode. Second down and 10. And Ramos around the left side. Brought down by Luce. Another good job setting that edge. Keeping him from turning it up. Gain a two on the play. Third and eight, clock continues to run. We're inside of two minutes left in the third. Phillips on the center. Rolls to the right. Looks downfield. Gonna overshoot the intended receiver, Troy Wellen. He heaved that. Nolan Yates with the coverage. Hey, he had a good wind. Threw that about 40 yards. I know. <laughs> But it was incomplete, so fourth down and eight. It's gonna force Clinton to punt. Go get it, go get it. Picked up by Torres and brings it back another five to the Clinton 40. First time Clinton's been forced to punt this week. This, yeah. This season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, they did punt. They punted their second drive. Oh, yeah. If you still have your tickets, we'll be drawing. We've got some kind of call going on here. Holding. Well, Hawks will get an extra 10, it looks like. Why would that be declined? He 
holding on the Haas. Holding call on the Hawks. Going to move them back toward midfield where they'll start their drive. But also... The the, ch the chain gang should move, yeah. First and ten. There they go. Uh, it's first night for everybody, it's opening right? Night, hey. <laughs> or second night well. for everybody. <laughs> all right, so we're all situated now. We just had to get the chain gang uh, situated. We're ready to go. Minute and 11 left in the third quarter. Attaway, all run right off the snap. Down at about the 42 yard line over in front of the Hudson bench. We second down and two. Jordan Bear off the field slowly for Clinton. Against it here, 15 seconds on the clock. Hawks had a little bit of communication issues getting the right personnel into the huddle. And Tyrese Muse takes the handoff inside the 40 for the Hudson first down as the third quarter expires. We are through three quarters here at Veterans Stadium in Clinton. It's the Hawks 20 and the Gales 14. Trace on Muse, not Tyrese Muse. Ah. That's gonna haunt me all year, I know it. <laughs> You'll get it. Yeah, I get it. Here we go. Start of the third quarter. Or fourth quarter, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. What are you talking about? Oh, good hole. Carry by Evan Bushy. Brandon Figueredo still down. Hope it's a cramp. He did a couple teammates tugging <laughs> on his leg over there. <laughs> uh, Dr. Newton Clark over there. Is that 58? Yeah, Figueroa. Good time to uh, hydrate.
Escorted off by Rambler and Ponte. And to get to Giorgio, kicks it outside. And he's wrapped up before he could get to daylight. First down, Hudson. Line of scrimmage now the 22 yard line of Clinton first and 10 for the Hawks into the fourth quarter 9.17 to go. Hawks with the six point lead. Power. Attaway keeps cuts it inside bounces off a few tackles takes it down to the seven. First and goal for the Hawks. Clocks wide to the right. Nolan Yates to the left. Giorgio again cuts it inside. Had Bushy leading him. Looked like he had the choice. He could have kicked it outside to the right, kicked it back inside, kicked it inside, got it down inside the five. Yeah, good blocking up front. Opened that up enough. Second down and goal for the Hawks. Just inside the five. Just under eight minutes to go. Clocks right. Yates left. Fakes the handoff to Giorgio and follows Giorgio. Good push. Right up to the end zone, close. It looks like he's gonna be spotted just outside by the uh, the side judge on our near side. Still no signal yet. Down at the one yard line, third and goal for the Hawks. Ball inside the one. That's a good stiff breeze will break the plane right there. <laughs> right? <laughs> they are right against it. Attaway up under center. He's gonna follow Joe Eady straight ahead. We'll see. Yeah, it looked like there was movement. Looks like Attaway took a little flinch before he got the snap. False start Hudson. So it's now third and goal. Ball like, spotted back to like the five. Power from the five yard line, better, even better. <laughs> we can hear you. We can hear you. And the Hawks. Timeout. Here's a timeout. Third down and goal from the Clinton five. 6.15 left to go. Oh, 
Hawks got to punch one in here, make it a two score. Two score game here with 6.15 left. Yeah, I mean, they, you know, they've been able to maintain the ball and take time off the clock and they've only had a, a drive or right. two where they, they've had to punt it away. But yeah, you, you get in here and if you don't, you know, barring any turnovers or anything like that, and you just kind of work your right. way down the field. Especially missing that conversion on the last one. Yeah. Attaway follows loose, cuts it inside, wrapped up. Touchdown. That QB power is such a good play for them because they got to stay with the other players, but it just opens up so many lanes for Jake to pick, his, pick and choose which way he wants to go. And he scores another touchdown on that one. And the, like a, that one looks like a fake. Attaway rolls to the left. Skips Sneaks into the in. end zone. Two points in the near corner. There's a flag down at the 10. Penalty's gonna go against the Hawks. <laughs> the Red Sea's feeling it. <laughs> I love when the student sections are so close together, it's so much fun. <laughs> Well, life's been good for the Red Sea for the last couple of years. The uh, the football team has been has been pretty successful, so yeah. they've been able to uh, thump the chest a lot in the last couple of seasons, and uh, I think they plan on doing it again this year. <laughs> hey, it's fun. Let them have fun, right? Attaway. Ooh. Incomplete at the goal line. Twenty-six to fourteen, the Hawks by twelve. Conversion would have been nice, but just going up two scores is huge here. Because the Hawks will get the ball back even if they score. Probably run this thing out. Pass was intended for Zach Torres. So the Hawks failed to convert twice in this second half. 6-10 left to go. The Hawks lead 26 to 14. Yeah, I wonder too if the ball's a little wet on those snaps. Yeah. Coming in high and that one kind of a little bit low. That one seemed and the that one seemed intentional. Yeah, maybe Jake just wants to run around with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one kicked out of bounds. And like Clinton's going to want him. Yeah. Clinton's going to want him to do it again. Move back five yards. Kick it again. Cam, a kicking expert. Oh yeah. So wet ball better with a square toe? <laughs> oh, Got to go square toe. <laughs> <laughs> Put it through the uprights with that thing. No lie. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> and a little squibber across midfield, fielded at the 43 yard line. It's not and a bad call with all that field and uh, a couple good returns already under their belt. Enrique Sanchez able to fall on that one. So Clinton will take over at their own 42. Trailing by 12. Oh 
Phillips in the shotgun. Uh, Going to tuck it and run. The flag behind the play. Joe Eady went flying in there. Almost caught him, but he lost it. He blew a tire. And the penalty's going to go against the Gales. No response from the Clinton <laughs> side. Nothing. They just ask them why they're quiet. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that at home, but it's right. It's taking place right, pretty much right in front of us. So it's. Uh, I think you might be able to pick it all up. Phillips again out of the shotgun. Throws underneath. Complete to Ethan Frisch. Takes a tackle. Gets it back to the original line of scrimmage. Look like he took Gary Giorgio for a ride yeah. for a little bit. Linebackers of Giorgio lose in the Nottowich. Phillips, near sideline complete. And some extra yardage brought down by Nolan Yates, who was Ramos. First down, Clinton. Fox running. Inside of five minutes. Phillips flushed out. Edie dragged down from behind. And intercepted by Attaway at the two. Momentum takes him into the end zone. By Jake Attaway. <laughs> You're gonna spot that ball at the one yard line. Player down in the end zone, a Clinton player. Yeah, was he in the end zone or? Momentum carried him into the end zone. I mean, he caught it, but momentum carried him into the end zone. So that's at the. It's not like he turned, he caught it and turned and ran into right, the end right, zone. Right. That's, that's it's like a Euro step in basketball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think they're deciding that now. Yeah, they got it right. And Ramos is up as the sprinklers turn on right at the Hudson bench. <laughs> <laughs> as uh as the Hawks scramble to get their personal belongings out of the way, the sprinklers have turned on here in Clinton. What else could happen? It's been Zach Attaway for the Hawks that's had a night tonight. He's ran for uh, three touchdowns. He threw for one, and now he's got a defensive interception uh, Jake, on the resume Zach? for tonight. Did I say Zach? You might have said Zach. I meant Jake. <laughs> <laughs> How many times is that going to happen? <laughs> I know, right? 
Well, you called games for him, oh, right? My phone, my, I'll tell you, my phone's probably about ready to blow up now. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to do that. Clinton takes a timeout. 427 left to go. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. I try. I really do. Sorry, Bo. <laughs> I'm keeping him honest up here. <laughs> it's getting late. <laughs> All right, first and 10 for the Hawks from their own 20. 427 left to go. And they give to Giorgio straight ahead out to the 23. I think the Hawks would just be content with uh, getting what they can out of these drives inside of four minutes to go. Yeah, just keep it on the ground, keep it moving. Two timeouts left for each team. Attaway gives to Giorgio again. Out across the 25. Brought down by number 68, Brendan Barnard. Third and four. I ain't call it third and five. Nah, I'll go back to four. Looks like the Hawks might run this down. They're, uh, I think they're waiting to use up the play clock and call a timeout, and that's what they do. 2.45 left to go. Hawks with one timeout. Face with third and four. And they convert this one, you can, it's pretty much done. Yeah. Yeah, even with their timeouts, they can kneel it. Hawks travel to Dover Sherborne next week. Playoff rematch. I know there's a few of these Hawk players that kind of have that one. Yeah. Pinned on their calendar. They they uh they wish they had that one over again. Attaway flanked by Bushy. And he's gonna follow Bushy right side. First down out across the 30. That's what they needed. And starts the clock moving one more time. And Jake Attaway in with the play from Coach Zach Attaway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all you That's people. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> J 
Jake. They give to Lose. Picks his way forward for about five. One thirty-five left, and it looks like the uh, Clinton coaching staff is going to throw it in. They're gonna, not going to try to stop the clock. They do do still have two timeouts, but uh, looks like they're just going to let this happen. Yeah, even if they took them, I don't think it would have mattered. And we'd have wind it down anyway. Lose again. Cross the 40. To the 41. Be third down in about two. 35 seconds left to go. And looks like Coach Attaway is going to let this one run down and uh, and use that last time out. No, nope, they're just going to run this one. Take a knee. And get out of Dodge to the Hawks. Win the season opener over the Clinton Gales, 26 to 14. Big night for Jake Alloway. Ran for three touchdowns, passed for the opening touchdown last night, and uh, had a big, big interception as uh, time was running out in the fourth quarter. So it's been an interesting uh, yeah, that was a special one for season us. opener, <laughs> yeah. One they talk about forever, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna uh, we're gonna leave you with that. The, the Hawks win their season opener 26 to 14 over the Clinton Gales. We'll be at Dover Sherborne next week for Jared Colbert. I'm Pete Conti and Cam to my left. That's right. Thank you. See you next week.